Hey friend, and welcome back to RGD Gaming, the least toxic, most fun community in all of gaming. If you ever started a match with all the promise in the world, I'm going to try hard. My teammates are going to be good. They're going to try hard. We'll win this match, and you know what? I'm going to have fun doing it too. Only to start out 0-2, then 1-6, your team goes down 10 kills, and then your team starts flaming you or somebody else on the team, and everything's falling apart? Well, if that's ever happened to you, then this video is going to help you. In this video, I'm going to talk about controlling the areas of the map that matter the most and controlling the areas of the map that help you with your win conditions. If you don't know what a win condition is, it's basically how your team wins a game or, or a match. And every comp should have some idea of how they actually win and not just go blindly into it. If you know your team wins the match by controlling certain objectives or certain areas of the map, you can choose what areas to focus on, control that part of the map, and thus win games more easily. You can't control every area of the map, you can't control all the turrets, all the objectives, um, it's just not possible. So you need to focus on what's most important. And here you actually see me, so I'm telling my team right now, we outscale them, dragons will help, so I want five at dragons, because their team comp is better. They've got Nautilus to tank, Yasuo can knock us up, Zin's gonna cause us a problem early on. Teemo can put out a lot of damage later, and Ash can, you know, stun us and do a lot of damage as well. Meanwhile, we really don't have a tank. I guess Aatrox with his heal maybe, and Nami can heal us a little bit, but we really don't fight them very well early on, and so we need to decide early what's the most important. Um, I did a lot of speeding up and slows down here, so hopefully you guys like it. Comment if you do, because I found that there was a lot of areas, this was over like a 25 minute video, and I think I got it down to 14 or 15 minutes. Um, and so here's my first decision. Normally what I do on my first rotation as Morgana is I farm the blue side, I wrap around, and I try to take the scuttle on the red side uh, before the enemy can get there. But I saw Zin was there. I do not want to fight him early on. I am going to lose. And so what do I do? I go to the other scuttle. And then I look to take one of his jungle camps, which he's already taken. So no big deal. I'm just going to get the reset in and take a look at my next move here. Um, ideally, I'd like to have a camp respawn, so I head back up to blue. But there's really not a ton to do. I see Zen is low, and I totally biffed this play. I should have waited till he jumped on me, then hit him with my first ability, then hit him with my second ability, and I probably would have got the kill or at least come closer. Uh, so I did make a, a mistake there, uh, but not the end of the world. You know, Zen is he's a better early game champ, and I, I really should be aware of this and maybe shouldn't have even taken that fight, especially with Yasuo there. Um, so now I'm just heading through my rotation. As an ADC, I often get filled into my secondary role, which uh, I made a point to learn jungle, and specifically Morgana and Olaf. Morgana's great. If you have not tried her out, I strongly recommend. She farms so well, so even if you get behind, she's a good late game champion. And here you see I have another decision to make to fight Yasso. I'm able to hit him with my root. I use my ultimate on him. He knocks me up. He kills me, and Zen is there again everywhere. And fortunately, we get Yasso and shut down gold. Um, but probably, again, if I played that a little bit better, um, it might have went better for the team. Um, so now the thing that I'm thinking about is we're a little bit behind, not the end of the world. I see Dragon and Rift are spawning. So what I want to do is put some vision on Rift. I love doing this as a jungle or even a, a jungle more than ADC because you really can't get vision. But I love having vision on Rift and heading to Dragon. And so I'm already pinging to my team, we need to get to Dragon, we need to group there, and we need all five of us. And fortunately, this Aatrox understands that they need Dragons to scale, and this is what we need to win. And so what does he do? He resets. So right now I'm just positioning, Zin's here, and Aatrox is on its way. So I'm trying not to just get engaged upon by Zin right now, and wait for the rest of my team so we can group here and hope that we can get five of us. So we do have everybody coming, so this is looking perfect. I throw down my second ability, I'm able to hit with my first, so this is going well. I go a little bit too deep. This is where a tank would have been very helpful, because the tank can go in and I can sort of get, you know, only go halfway in and not die. But fortunately we're able to get one kill. Now we're two for two. Let's see if we can't clean this up. 
So two for two actually isn't bad with our comp. And what do I do? I ping, I boots, and I am heading right back to that dragon because that is what is important for us to win and we need this. So I'm hanging out here. I see that my blue buff is respawning and so I want to grab that. That way I have all the ability power I need but I'm still pinging that I want to be here. I'm still hanging out here and I see that we have time. So in my mind what I actually thought is I bet Zinn is taking Rift Herald right now and then he's going to rotate to dragon and as it turns out that's exactly what I think he was doing because now he's coming from mid he actually gave us enough time because Morgana can take jungle camps or jungles and objectives very quickly. And now I ping, let's get out of here. So I want to back off. Now what do I see? Zinn is heading up to that tower, which is technically the bot side of the map. And I want Rift Herald. I am so greedy when I play this game. I always want all the objectives. And so what do I do? Zinn's there, Nautilus is there, Ash is there. So I see that we basically have a free Rift Herald if we take it. And now all I need is a Kali and Aatrox to come. I've got this Yasso, which is going to cause me a problem. I'm fortunate that I'm able to hit a root on him, put some good damage on him. Akali comes around, and I go down, but we're going to get this Rift Herald. And so now we've got the first Dragon and the first Rift Herald. And what does that mean? That is a perfect-ish start. We're down 5 and 11, but we're probably not that far behind. And so I am not worried about the fact that I have died four times, which I should not have. Um, I knew that they were in that bush, and I was pretty confident we could get a kill, and we did. And unfortunately, we give a double kill to Zen. But I'll be honest, Zen does not scare me as a jungle. He does not scale well. He can be very strong and steamroll a game, uh, but quite frankly, him a little bit ahead of me is not a concern that I have right now. Um, you know, if he gets some dragons, yeah, sure, and if he gets some of his teammates fed, but really, if we get Jinx, me, or Aatrox some gold, all of us are going to outdamage him and be a way bigger threat than he is. Um, so right now, while this isn't going exactly as planned, it's fine enough. We're able to hit Teemo with a root. Um, let's see if we can get we get our ultimate off on him and I just walk away perfect so we get another kill Teemo is overextended and here I overextend I I thought I would be able to just shove this out get some pressure and you see I'm getting flamed that I am bad don't get mad when people do that he just doesn't understand the game it's not his fault I assume he's some sort of a kid if he's flaming and he doesn't understand the game at this point. Uh, but we're going to outscale them. And so what do I do? I just let them know. We will outscale the enemy team because I understand that. I mean, he's a jinx. He should understand scaling. But if he doesn't, it's not the end of the world and I'm not going to get mad at him. Um, so the next thing we are, again, always kind of thinking about objectives and then farming up. Oh, this Teemo. Get out of here. Um, and so we have our next objective spawning which is going to be the Rift Herald and I'm thinking about that we also have Dragon spawning at a very close time frame so I probably actually want Dragon and I would give them Rift Herald here um, but we have a team fight breaking out and so I'm just trying to stay back a little bit trying to land a root which I do so that's perfect we're able to get three kills on them and now we're going to get free dragon uh, because of that fight. So very good fight, great grouping by our team. And what do we do? We control the most important objective, dragon. And what happens again? Greedy me wants Rift Herald. So what do I do? I am heading over to Rift Herald so that way we can take it. Um, and this is going to be basically a free Rift Herald. They don't have enough time to get there if three of us do it. So now we have two dragons two Rift Heralds. I don't know how much better this could be going based on their comp. Um, and so here, this is this is about the extent of me flaming that you'll ever see. When somebody flames me and I get frustrated by them, you know, and things are going super well, I just tell them, you know, like, this Morgana sucks. Like, I actually flame myself. Uh, but hopefully they get the point that what they said was stupid. Uh, and let's see if we can get this team out. We get another kill. That's perfect. So Baron's up. We have an advantage fight here that we should probably consider taking if they'll let us, because all of us are here, able to land a root, and Zen has to, I believe he used his alt there. Um, so he had to waste that because of a root. And now we've got 
a little bit of pressure here. I think Nami thought they were going to be coming right away, and so they used their ultimate, and that way we could get them. But we just need to back off a little bit to reposition, able to land another root, so that's good. And you see these, these Morgana roots, when I can be in the back line, are so powerful because you totally screw up the way that the person wants to fight. So now we got three kills here. I would have liked to get to Baron, but we were pretty low. And so now that I have a little bit of time, I will steal camps from the enemy when possible. And we want to be thinking about this next dragon. So Nami's even pinging group, which is just a beautiful thing to see as a jungle when you have a support that's pinging we need to set up here. Okay, so we're clearing vision. Ash alts in. And I'm able to hit the root there. Nami hits their knockup, so this is good. I'm getting low. I need to get out of here. Thank you, Jinx, for that rocket. Um, but we get one. We got three of them now. And so what do I want to do? I want to start taking the dragon. But we have this problem here that Yesa wants to fight us. Um, so they actually get two. And we get four of them. And fortunately... We're going to be able to clean this up. And now what I would have loved is to see Jinx come right to that dragon and take it. So that's why I'm, you know, you see me saying like Jinx question mark. But fortunately, Akali understands the wind conditions, takes the dragon. And now we have three dragons and two Rift Heralds. And we have caught up to them in kills, which is crazy. Um, that we are able to outscale them once we get a little bit later into the game. Um, so now we got another fight breaking out. This is okay. We're able to... No, oh, Nami goes down. That's unfortunate. Uh, but we get three of them, and now I want Dra or I want Baron. This is exactly what we should be doing. We, lose we lost one. They lost three. We basically are going to take this Baron here. This is essentially a free Baron that they've given us after that fight. Um, so now what did we do? We controlled all the most important objectives, which were the dragons for us and now we're stronger than them there's honestly a not not a ton that they're going to be able to do to stop us what they really need to do is make a play on this elder dragon or and or catch us in one of the situations where we overextend and so here you go you see me again morgana can take objectives and or dragons by herself <clears throat> excuse me and so I take Elder Dragon. So now we've got three dragons, Elder Dragon and Baron. This is absolutely perfect right now. And you can see why you need to understand how you win the match. And the way that we win is we get all those objectives and we take them from the enemy team. Um, here you can see actually they invade it, which this is a good play. I like this play by the Zen, but instead it's going to backfire. You can see when I hit that root and I do like, a third to you know half health when I hit my first ability and second ability they're just in a really bad spot and then um, <laughs> just to <laughs> worst jungle ever so the, this is uh, me counter flaming which this, when I say least toxic I mean you can't just always take it from somebody uh, but never start the flaming but if somebody's gonna do it and you prove to them that they're wrong and stupid it's okay to give it back a little bit in, an, in a generally friendly way. Like, don't freak out on them. Don't add them on Discord and flame them. But you can say a little back to them. Uh, so this was a great match. And here's what you need to understand. So hopefully this was clear through this. But control the things that are most important. So we need to just keep pounding that dragon. Always come back to the dragon because that's what we need to win. If we lose all those dragons, we don't win the game. And then um, the other thing that we need to do is once you get those... Just support your carries. Hopefully I see you on the rift. GG.